What is up you guys, it's Blazing Air Cakes here and today in this video I got a big, big requested video that so many people have been asking me on Kick, on Instagram, on YouTube comments, just and I'm sure people in general are wondering. By the way, if you guys didn't know, my name is John Carlo. So, yeah, there you go. I will have a lot of details at the end of this video, so stick around for that. But until then, just sit back, relax, and enjoy some, like, I don't even know what you want to do. Like, get some ice cream or get get whatever. But uh, I've got a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about. And it's very good because this is all stuff that's beneficial to you guys especially. So, yeah, let's get into it. What I'm going to be teaching you today is how to make money for sneakers. Woo! Now, for some reason, you guys have, like, a very hard time deciding on what to do to get money to buy all your kicks. As you might have saw from my sneaker collection video, I got like 33 pairs of kicks I had in there. Like, oh, you missed the plug. <laughs> my mom. Well, no, 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 no. Mom. You are not the plug. <laughs> Mommy and daddy are not the plug. Who is the plug? John Carl Apertia, aka me. You guys didn't know that. So, in order to be the plug, you have to have the money. And I'm going to teach you the way to get them. <laughs> so here are all the different ways you can make money for sneakerheads. And what you guys wondering on, on feet today? Black Red Fives! Yeah, that was... That was Alright, alright, that was good. So the first thing is, how did you afford a so, like, the like crazy amount of money right here? Okay, these are 2001 Columbia's, and speaking of which, I've got a restoration coming on them, so stay tuned. But, um, how do I afford sneakers like that? Like the ones that are really expensive? Or how do I, you know, get like a nice watch or something like that? Well, in order to do that, there is a big one, and it's called resell. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before. But in this resell process, what I'm talking about is you need to do some work to do this resell. Now, I know I get a lot of questions asked about this. What is a beater box? I'll address that whole thing in a later video when I get another beater box. But it's just where I buy a bunch of kicks, and then I can sell them for a profit. And so what I've done here is I've bought four pairs of kicks for my friends. It's always good to buy in bulk people because people will be willing to go down on their prices. I bought four pairs of kicks for 120. Now the kid was like a size 12 at that point, and these kicks are like eight and a half, nine. So I mean I can't even wear them, but it's good for resale, do you know why? Because if I sell one pair, I get all my money back, which is really awesome about it. Maybe you won't find good deals like that, but if you're at a show like something like that, like a sneaker convention, go up to a group, got cash, like got 300, and they got like. Four pairs of kicks there say, how much for all? And they'll be like, um, because they've never had somebody actually ask them for money. It's always just trades, and that's why it's good to be the one with cash because you own them, pretty much. So, what I've got here is a pair of, like, I think they're 2013, I want to say. 2013, dead stock. I happen to come up really nice on these. Uh, Fire Red 3s, and they have the receipt, which is really awesome. They have the hang tag, the stuffing, they got everything. And this isn't a good example to show you, but I mean, this probably won't happen unless you're really lucky like me. So you gotta do a little bit of work. And in order to do that work, you gotta clean the kicks up, you know, make them look nice. I have a, I have a video, uh, Tips for Beginner Sneakerheads. And it's the first video that got me known on Sneakerhead in the Bay. Shout out to Alex, love you man, no no. But um, so I tell you how to, you know, your proper restoration materials and all that. So you might need to paint them, decrease them, definitely a general cleaning is always good. But yeah, you need to do that and just, you can sell them for a lot more. Like, let's give an example. Let's say I bought these right here, my grandpa's kick, shout out to grandpa. So let's say I buy these for 60 bucks. All right, so they've got some creasing. They need to be cleaned a bit. So what I do is decrease them and then deep clean them. And then if I bought them for 60, I could probably get like 120 right there. I double my, what I put into it, you know? So it's a really great way to make money, and I have some other tips if you don't like Reese. You guys are like at a sneaker show and you're vending. It's always good to have a little side service. For me, when I go to smaller shows, I'm there offering to repaint and deep clean kicks. However, at this show I'm going to SOE, 
I will be actually spraying Soul Dry on people's sneakers, making them water and stain proof for $5. And now just think about it. You buy a bottle for 13 bucks, and then, you know, you just easily make your money back just by doing three people's kicks. Just say, charge five bucks. Huh? Want me to make your waterproof, make your kicks waterproof and stain proof? Give a little demonstration. Like, oh, oh, ah. But yeah, and then they'll be like that. And so offer a service, offer deep clean, waterproofing, whatever you gotta do. The next thing is restoration. If you're at, you know, somewhere and you see some kid's got a beat pair of kicks, ask them to restore it. Or even better yet, create an Instagram page. I don't want to because I like keeping my work all in one place. But I mean, you gotta be good at it though. That's the only thing. Like, look at how clean my lines are. Okay, I didn't use any tape there and I still gotta do the black. But that's gonna be a restoration video, which is gonna be cool. I know you guys will enjoy that. But you gotta do that, all right? You gotta offer services that people will be interested in. Because if you don't, then they're not gonna really bother with you. Like, you need to have proof of your restorations. Like, I have pictures all thrown up on Thunder 4 restoration, Toro restoration. So, make sure you guys do that. Another thing you can do is if you aren't really too good with fine detail is customs. Now these were a pair of white fire red fours, so I got the before right here, and I cleaned them up, and the guy wanted me to make them black. So that's exactly what I did. I still got maybe one more coat to do, but they're looking real clean. The dude said he loved them. Uh, he's got to get black laces though. I don't have any. But look, see, like that detailing right there, like that's really good. And you know you could charge people if it's a really nice custom. A lot of money. And I have another example of a custom right here. My Galaxy Roshi custom. I got featured on multiple pages with this pair right here. But you know, I charge people 75 bucks. If you supply the shoe and all that, I'll do this whole custom right here for 75 bucks, which is way cheaper than people who charge $100 an hour. So that's really good because then, you know, people will be interested. The only thing with this pair is though, you will need a sole protector as the soles will not, you know, like if you wear them. I won't stay intact, but you see, like even customs. That this custom is a lot of fun to do. I had a lot of fun doing this custom, and a lot of fun on the techniques. That was my first custom I've ever done, people. Listen to me one more time. First custom I've ever done. So yeah, that is how you can make money for sneakerheads and young sneakerheads, old sneakerheads, you older people. I know you have a job, but if you're like me and you're 14 and a half, you can't you can't get a job yet. So yeah, and lastly. The information I want to share with you about some updates. I have a Las Vegas vlog that I'm planning on uploading Friday. The reason why it's coming Friday and not like Thursday is because I'm going on a school field trip with my class for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I get back Friday night, so I'll make the vlog then. As you might have seen, I did hit 300 likes on the giveaway video. And I thought, you know, I'll give it another day. Sure enough, it hit 310 likes or something like that. I don't know now. But I said I'd be giving away some stickers and another extra goodie, which is going to be really cool. So all you got to do is just follow me on Instagram, at John Carlo Perch. Like three of my pictures, it can be anyone, but don't make it like like a picture like a, what I'm looking to buy. You know, like make it like a sneaker picture. Maybe I'm with uh, owners of like VNDS23 that happened one time. But like maybe it's a custom, I don't know, just like three pictures. And I'll have a post saying comment done. Alright, just comment done. There you go. Boom. Bada bing. Done. Bam. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit longer than the others. But you know what? I had to make sure you guys understood what to do and how to make money. If you guys are interested in getting something from me, just go ahead and kick me. It's all in the outro. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed, drop a bomb on that like button. It really supports my channel. If you guys want to go ahead and kick me at p 82 feel free to do so. You can also get a restoration or customization by me. Just be serious about it. If you guys want to check out who I'm partnered with, it's all in the description, as well as where you can send stickers to be on the desk of fame. If you guys want to go ahead and check out my website, www.blazonarykicks.com. It's where I post all my restorations and customizations that I've already done. Follow me on Instagram at Giancarlo Perch where I post a bunch of dope sneaker pics. And lastly, check out the Instagram where I sell all my sneakers at Blazendary. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.